If we're not at a Disney park, we're dreaming about being there. And a cup of Joffrey's Coffee Disney Blend helps. But what about when you're at a Disney park? The Joffrey's Disney kiosk and restaurant locator will make sure you never miss out. Whether it's a cool drink on a hot summer vacation or a great cup of coffee at a Disney signature restaurant, Joffrey's has you covered. Check it out at joffreys.com. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. To our new passengers, aloha and welcome aboard. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. I'm Bob Collar. Bob, you're not even in this show. I don't I'm even not, know why you're I, here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. I just I'm here <laughs> to remind everybody that tomorrow yes. you and I will be at Walt Disney World. Today's Tuesday. Yes, we will. <laughs> Do the math. Yes, we will. Yes. Fantastic. Yes, divide by three. And before we jump on into the sh- the cr- lovely show about cruising and fish extenders with my wife. Okay. How about that new Joffrey's blend that just came out? Just How about dropped. That? The, the 60th anniversary blend, right? 90th? 90th? Isn't it 90th? Mickey's 90th? That's what I said. 90th. Is that what you said? Well, you know, it's kind of <laughs> like it's kind of like being on the cruise ship when you accidentally walk into the wrong cabin because the, the number, <laughs> the one nail it's fell out of the number. Accidental if you keep Whoops. doing it. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, miss. No, no, Any... it just sounds fantastic. <laughs> Can't wait to try that. Uh, hopefully there will be some of that available when we go down. Excellent. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So excited. So uh, I'm going to leave and uh, you guys go. You go and I'll just toss it to the eye. other open that you'll hear right now. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott, joined by his lovely wife, Dawn. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I thought, since we're going to be ready, people are going to be starting, starting to book cruises for next year through resortlooptravel.com, hopefully. And one of the biggest things, and I'm going to let my wife talk more about this because she's, she's all about this, but I'm going to just bring up the topic real quick is the fish extender. Yeah. Everybody's heard about the fish extenders. Maybe you've seen it on boards or online forums or whatever. Don, tell our listeners, what is a fish extender? Well, a fish extender is actually some type of a holder, a bag, or something along those lines that hangs from the little fish that is outside of your stateroom door. And originally, the original purpose of the fish that hangs outside your stateroom door is for your cabin steward or a cast member to put a little note or something that a crew member needed to, um, information they needed to give you, um, so they didn't have to enter your cabin, that they would just put it outside your door in the little fish. But then, um, on a cruise years ago, a group got together and decided to exchange uh, small little Christmas gifts or Christmas ornaments. Okay. And so they actually hung stockings outside uh, their cabins from these little fish. And so they extended them from the fish, hence the name Fish Extenders. And so then they got the name Fish Extender Exchanges. That's so cool. So like they're like super fancy like clothespins or paper clips or just stuff, just a fancy hook to hang stuff, something on the fish extend, the fish on the wall outside the yes. door. It's going to sound like we're in the Nat- wildlife park give- doing our show. You can hear the birds outside. <laughs> That's awesome. So what kind of gifts are in these fish extenders? Like how there's a whole big thing here. Like how do you, how, how first of all, I guess before we get to the gifts, how are these all organized? Um, typically um, on most cruises, people sign up for um, a meet and greet or they sign up to meet people before their cruise even begins. Uh, some groups start more than a year before their cruise even um, is set to go. Uh, some people join a few months before their cruise is set to sail. Okay. Um, it just depends. There are a couple cruise um, or other uh, boards that have uh, meet and greet boards that uh, people can join. There are other different social media sites that people can join. I know Facebook has um, a definite designated fish extender exchange group that um, has uh, lots of different sailing. Someone has to start their sailing date. They don't automatically just post the different cruise sailing date. Someone from that sailing has to start the date. Okay. Um, there are different moderators from that group. 
that will help you get started. There are moderators from that group that have definite ideas how the fish extenders group should be run. (laughs) So um, if you do choose to go the Facebook route, be aware that they will instruct you on how they like things to be done, even though they won't actually probably be on your cruise. Oh, okay. So a, you're saying there's <laughs> so, people maybe with strong opinions on how this is supposed are. to go. Um, some of them, some of the moderators have cruised frequently. Some of them, not so much. Uh, I think all of them have participated in uh, different fish extender exchanges. Uh, so they've done them before. Okay. So they, they have some ideas on what to do. Uh, and they're very willing to help. They also have lots of great ideas and, you know, when it comes to that and they are very, very helpful, but be aware that if your group has a particular idea or a particular way that you want things to go or how you would like your things to be run, that, um, be very insistent that that's how your group wants to be run. <laughs> if that's, uh, how you want to do it. So cause there's really no right or wrong way to do it. No. It's just some people feel there's a right or a wrong way to do it. Exactly. <laughs> God, I'm picking up what you're throwing down. All right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe we have a family that's thinking about cruising. Yes. Where, is it, where do you suggest they go to first to investigate a fish extender group for their cruise? Um, when we did our very first uh, fish extender, we went to another site that um, unfortunately – did not care for the Facebook meet and greets and meeting up on Facebook. And they were not very happy with um, people suggesting to go to other social media sites. And I think this was sort of their decline of their meet and greets. Um, But that's where we started first. You can go to cruise critics. They often have them, but they're not terribly active sites. But if you're a cruiser that does not have Facebook or other social media sites like that, um, that would be a good place to start. Disboards, uh, Cruise Critics, something like that. There's probably a small group on there that um, could get you started or, you know, just a small place to start. Start your own. You can uh, post your own link. The moderators there will uh, help you if you're not sure how to do that. They're always very helpful on those sites. Okay. Um, you may have a few people that join up there. Facebook generally seems to be where most people go nowadays. But if you're not into Facebook, that's okay. You're, you'll get a couple people um, from the other sites. I know for our upcoming cruise in March, there are some people on both the Cruise Critic site and the Disboard sites that um, we signed up for, but they're just not terribly active. So um, we are on Facebook and there's um, some nice groups group of people that are on there for now so okay that's where we are so if i'm hearing right so it's possible for there to be two different two or more different fish extender groups on the same cruise definitely there are actually more you can be involved in more than one fish extender group within your same group and we'll get to that too oh okay wow because our daughter is all about the fish extender especially for this cruise it's her last cruise before she ages out of the disney clubs and so we are going all out. We are. So we're, we're cruising coming up in March, just so yes. everybody knows when we're talking about what we're doing. That's yes. our time frame. So super, everyone's really excited. excited. And if you actually look around our living room where we're recording now, which is one reason <laughs> you hear birds and car horns, we have a uh, chain going around the living room mm-hmm. with how many days it is until the cruise. We started with 400 and some links. So we're down to 200 and some now. So it's getting shorter. That is awesome. Unfortunately, it's... Getting just short to the go to school one. <laughs> that too. Mm, yuck. I figure we have to get the show recorded before you go back to school because I know. Oh, all of well. a sudden the summer will be done. Yeah. Anyway, back to topic. Back back to the fish extenders. Okay. So we went ahead and we joined the Facebook group for our cruise, mm-hmm. and the organizer of ours did a very nice job doing a Google Doc sheet. And the advantage of doing a Google Doc sheet is that you can go in. You can add your information, edit your information, delete your information if you need to. Um, You can change your cabin if your cabin number changes. Um, If the travel party you're in changes, whatever you need to do changes, you can edit your own information. And the way um, fish extender groups change or are set up, it's fabulous because you can decide within your group however you'd like to do it. Um, Sometimes... You have one group and it can be 
a group that's just set up and once the group is full, it's full. Your group may decide you'll have 20 cabins participate and then that's it. Once there's 20 cabins, your group is closed. That's the end of it. Your group might decide, you know, we'll have an unlimited number of cabins. However many people want to sign up. If there's 52 cabins, there's 52 cabins. If okay. there's seven cabins, there's seven cabins. The group that we are in, I think is probably the best way we've ever, I've ever seen it set up. Okay. The person who did it decided to have what she called guppy groups. And oh. these are groups for people who have never done fish extenders before or who would like to do fish extenders, but just don't really feel they have time to get a lot of group gifts together, or maybe don't have a lot of room in their luggage to bring a lot of gifts. Right. So the guppy groups are limited to five cabins. So you would actually only be bringing gifts for four other cabins. So okay. your, your cabin would be one of five. That seems very manageable, especially if you're yes. flying and mm -hmm. you don't have a lot of room. For sure. Or if you've never done it before and you might think, you know, my kids probably would really enjoy it, but I'm not sure what to do or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I thought that was so cute to call it the guppy group because the <laughs> fish extender. Right. That was really cute. Very cute. So we have the guppy groups. And so she has it open. I think the first couple guppy groups are filled and she just kind of keeps adding a couple guppy groups as we go along. Okay. Then she has other groups set up based on the ports of call we have. So you have like Port Canaveral, Port Tortola, Castaway Key, um, forget where else we're going, wherever <laughs> else we're going. Um, they're set up and the rule said that you can deliver your gifts any day. You don't have to deliver them the day that you signed up for. So when we're in Castaway Key, if you signed up for the Castaway Key group, you don't have to go in and Deliver your gifts the day we're in Castaway. Right, you don't take away it's from your beach time. It just happens to be the name of your group. Got it. So those groups have 10 cabins per group, which again, you know, you think, well, might be a little more adventuresome. I could do nine cabins because it's 10 cabins. You're one of the 10. Mm -hmm. So nine other cabins that you could do. Right. It's good. The other thing she also did was she has a group for magnet exchanges. So... Um, and I think that's pretty much unlimited. So anybody can sign up for magnet exchanges. There's also a group if, of uh, cabins if you want to exchange um, ornaments. And I think okay. there's, um, and we did sign up for that one for the ornament exchange. We did not sign up for the magnet group. Um, there's also a beer exchange group because I think you're allowed to bring six bottles of beer on board. I'm not sure. So each person would bring six bottles and then you would exchange, so you would get six different. Okay, is how it worked. We don't drink, so we don't. We're, we didn't sign up for that one. Right. I know you can bring wine on board, so I'm sure. Well, this was can... yeah. I'm not sure how it works since it didn't matter to us since we we're not going to do that one. And I, oh, and then a recipe one. So you would bring a postcard from your state and then write a recipe. I assume like a recipe that maybe was a something that was unique to your home <gasps> state. Like we could do sweet so. corn. We'd just be like boil it for ten minutes. <laughs> We could, or like that green bean casserole that, you know, Ohio's right. known for. Or the Buckeyes. Yeah. Oh, Buckeyes. Oh. oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, but anyway, so there's, um, I just thought the organizer of our FE group just did a phenomenal job on how she organized it so that anybody that was a part of it could find something that they would like to do. Okay. So she that, did that a fantastic very good. job. Wow. So I was very, very impressed. So our daughter decided that, um, she wanted to do two. I, I said we could probably handle two of the groups that had 10 cabins each. So okay. we're doing 18 cabins plus the ornament exchange and then probably the recipe exchange. Okay. We, I haven't decided on that one yet <laughs> just because I don't know what recipe we'll use and I haven't found postcards yet. All right. But we have quite a bit of time yet. Oh, we, we have some time. It'll so, probably go fast. Yes. But anyways, but you can organize your group any way you like it. Okay. So, I think we just need to mention that there's no fee to join these groups. None at all. Okay. No. 
And that's the other thing. A lot of people ask like, well, how much money should you spend? What, you know, do you typically spend per group, per person? Um, should you do a cabin gift? Should you do one gift per person? Should you do a couple gift? Should you do a gift for the couple and then an individual gift for each child? Oh, I also think we do have like an adult only gift, I think, or okay. adult only exchange. So, I mean, anything. Um, so the Google Doc also tells you like who, who's in the cabin. Yeah, that's a good point. Yes, the, the, your Google Doc will tell you each person's name. Um, definitely the kids ages. Ours says the adult ages, um, on there. It typically will ask, um, what the person's favorite Disney character is. Okay. Um, if there's any allergies, um, oh, that's good. Yes. That's a very good one. Like food allergies, especially, um, if they're celebrating anything special, like we're celebrating our daughter's high school graduation. Yes. Um, some were celebrating like a 13th birthday. So, mm -hmm. you know, some were celebrating an anniversary, you know, anything, <laughs> you know, unique and special like right. that. So that's our honeymoon, something like that. So you'll have all that information. Um, so you'll have lots of different ideas and then, um, Sometimes, like generally within like the rules of the group, sometimes the group will decide. Sometimes the person creating the group will just make the rules. And I, I kind of like it when the person who creates the group makes the rules. It just kind of makes it easier than trying to have people agree on the rules. Right. So they can say, decide. You want to do a cabin gift? Do a cabin gift. If you want to do individual gifts, do individual gifts. Um, it always makes me a little bit sad when I see online someone who has done individual gifts and then feels slighted because um, in their exchange, a person decided to do a really nice maybe blanket and embroidered their name oh, or embroidered mm -hmm. the ship and stuff. So they spent maybe quite a bit of money on a blanket and embroidery, but they felt cheated because not everybody got their own gift. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I always take fish extenders things in the spirit in which they were given. Absolutely. You know, um, some people do, some people don't. That's okay. Yeah. Don't let something like that steal your joy. No, I, I have not ever not found a use or from, or some happiness or some joy in not every single thing that we've received. That's true. So even if you just use it for a little while and you're done with it, then that's okay too. It's just when you've been, maybe spent like, had a nice dinner or a nice lunch or a nice day walking around the deck mm -hmm. and coming back and having something in your fish extender. Oh, yes. It's always, it always brings happiness. It's like, For oh, sure. let's see. Somebody thought about us and let's see what someone was nice enough to bring. For sure. So it's generally take a look. If you decide to join a group, take a look at the rules, see what they say. If it's a cabin gift, then make sure you're thinking about a cabin gift. I, I truly do not worry about what I spend. I set whatever I think our budget should be. Stop laughing over there because you know I don't worry about the budget too terribly much. Stop laughing. You, we all know when it comes to Disney, we really don't have budgets. <laughs> so I think I do pretty well. You do very well. I do extremely well. I usually figure out what I think I would like to give. I try to do my best to find things on sale and go from there. Absolutely. So then you have, should you buy the things to give or should you make them? And I suppose the answer is, are you crafty? Right. Are you not crafty? Do you enjoy being crafty or do you really hate it? Right. So that How was, much time do you have? When and you how much time do you have? Mackenzie and I had a wonderful time this summer um, thinking of what we would like to do and researching and looking at mm -hmm. Pinterest and looking at a whole bunch of different ideas. And we pretty much nailed down what we're going to do. And I, I think sometimes men's gifts are a hard thing to do um, and to find, you know, something that's appropriate um, to give, you know, it's a little bit harder. Yeah. And uh, yeah, unless you're doing the beer thing, I'm sure a lot would be happy with that. Right. And we don't. No. And so I was like, well, I don't know. And uh, I'm not going to say because I, I think we've already pretty much given it away what cruise we're on. Um <laughs> it's not going to be too hard to research that one and figure it out. <laughs> um, so I don't want to say what our men's gift is, but just suffice it to know. say, Mackenzie and I are pretty proud of our men's <laughs> gift this year. 
and we are making them. Ooh. So we have all of our, and this is where the, um, it came in handy when they wrote what was their favorite character. And so okay, we yes. were able to, able to tailor that, you know, to the men. So that came in very handy. So we made our little sample this summer and, um, I have to give a shout out to my mom who really helped us with it. And so <laughs> one down, 17 more to go. There you go. <laughs> so we're, we're pretty excited about it. That's awesome. Yeah. So we did that one. So we, so we have our list compiled and I think we have, um, so we were making, um, the men's gifts. I'm drawing a blanket, what we're doing for the ladies at the moment. Mackenzie, do you remember? What? No, never mind. <laughs> What we're doing for the ladies, I totally have blanked out. I don't know. But um, I know we bought the little kids' gifts this year. Mm -hmm. Only because we found some super cute stuff at super good prices. Right. We couldn't pass them up. They were just darling. <laughs> I do remember And again, that. I mean, I'll just say what we got. For the little um, boys, we found these adorable blow-up swords for pirate night. Yes. And so, I mean, obviously we'll make sure we pass out our gifts before pirate mm -hmm. night. They're so cute, but they were like, what a dollar a piece, something like that, yeah. like a dollar a piece. So if the family, cute. yeah, if the family uses them for pirates night and you know, they get a hole in them, I hope they don't, they look pretty sturdy. I think they'll yeah, be they do. okay. You know, whatever. They'll Same make good with, pictures. They'll be great in pictures. Exactly. And there's, there's your memory right there. Y yeah, exactly. And then they leave them on the ship or something happens to them, whatever. Same with the little girls. We found little princess buckets and I think they were 50 cents and sunglasses for castaway keys. So there's another buck, <laughs> whatever. And they leave them on castaway key because they can't take them home in their luggage, whatever. I'm not going to flip out if someone doesn't take my gift home right. with them. Right. Use them, enjoy them. There you go. You had a good time. That's all I care about. Just have fun with it. Absolutely. So. Now we've talked about what the fish extender is. It hangs off the fish hook. Mm hmm But what, what, what is actually hanging there? What is the fish extender? Like what should people maybe think about using as their extender? Well, there's lots of different things that you could use. Um, we bought ours off of a very um, crafty sewy lady on Etsy. So... <laughs> Um, it just is pockets. There's, it's a long piece of fabric that has some pockets in it and mm -hmm. our names are embroidered on them. Um, you can use, I think the original ones, they use like very large stockings. Right. Um, you can use nice people have used like Disney bags that they have sewn together. Okay. I've even seen one on Pinterest. They made it out of Disney duct tape, like Disney themed oh, wow. duct tape. Um, some people were getting a Walmart nursery and we're spray painting it and doing some things with a nursery organizer. Um, really, it, as long as it's not going to fall apart, it stays together for a week, you're good to go. But whatever you want to use, you know, bag wise, um, I did see one lady very sadly said that she had joined a group and she said that she never had anything in her fish extender. Um, except for, I think she had some nail polish and some candy, but mostly didn't. I'm suspecting that possibly some things had been stolen from hers. And she said her pockets weren't very deep. Ah, uh, so, so people were seeing what was hanging out. I think people were, I think it was probably one specific cabin, probably near her mm -hmm. that kind of noticed when things were being delivered and maybe taking things, which is a risk that you take. Right. But I would probably recommend something that has a deeper pocket Maybe with a flap or something over yeah. it, maybe just to kind of deter people from. I would think. I mean, it's a it's a sad day that even on a on a Disney cruise that you can't put something out that you know other people aren't going to take that belong to you. Um, we, I think, have never had it. I mean, I guess we probably wouldn't know if we had anything taken, but we have had remarkable things in our fish extender. We have been. Just we've had amazing things. We've been so yeah. blessed. No, with absolutely. Just fun things in our fiction center. I think I we were totally blown away on our very first trip, which was our Alaska cruise that we participated in mm -hmm. fish extender. And the I think one of the very first days we were there, 
one of the participants had made a five by seven album for us and they had decorated each and every page with like all of the ports of call that we were going to do. And all you had to do was add your pictures at the end. Oh, just slide them in. Yeah. yeah slide your pictures in, just stick your pictures in all the pages <laughs> have been decorated like a nice little scrapbook. Yeah. I was just, I was like, Oh my goodness. The time that she must've put into making those for everybody in the group. It was just so nice. And I think we were on, ended up being on a, Short excursion with them, the the I think so. Oh, oh, it could have been, yeah. And I was just amazed, and she said she's had so much fun doing it. And I think that's the other thing, like whatever you decide to make, make sure that you're going to have a good time making it. Especially Mackenzie and I are making eighteen of everything right. we're making. <laughs> have, make sure you have a good time making it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she said she had a blast making them. So we had that. I mean, we've just had so many neat things. We've had can cozies. Mm-hmm. And I, the one I used for years and years at school, I put my can of Coke in it. And it just made me so happy right. to like look at the little Mickey head made out of rhinestones and thought of our, um, I think that was our Canadian cruise that we did. And I just was made me happy to look at the little Mickey head. I think we still have like some picture frames on our refrigerator from some of the fish oh, extenders. Oh, yeah, we do. So. I have, and there was a painted picture frame on our fantasy cruise from 2013 that still has a picture of our family in it that I keep on my desk at school. And that I just, it was a very beautifully painted picture frame Mm -hmm. that I look at every single day and think of that cruise and how much fun we had. And, you know, it's just nice. And I think I I love the handmade stuff. I really truly do because I think you know, how thoughtful it was that somebody took the time to make something like that and how talent, I don't know who did painted this picture frame, but it was beautifully done. (laughs) So it has a beach scene on it and it's just really nice. But if you're not crafty, don't worry about it. Right. You know, pick something that, you know, you, that you enjoy and that you will enjoy. I think some of the ones, um, other things that I love is there's, um, key fobs that, they're like, I don't know, it's thicker material that, um, it's, a it's like more like ribbon, but it's super thick ribbon that has okay. Disney cruise line print on it Okay. that I keep my desk keys and my cabinet keys to work on. Ah, mm-hmm. So I always keep that in my, uh, teacher bag. So, <laughs> and I love, I love looking at that. And that was, I mean, I've seen those on the Etsy stores. So oh, pardon me. So um, there's things that, you know, if you're not crafty, there's things that you can buy that are Disney related. And Oh, absolutely. So, and even if you think you're not crafty, <laughs> cause I didn't think I was very crafty, <laughs> <laughs> find somebody who is very crafty. Cause my mom is actually helping us with the men's gifts this year. Yeah. So we're finishing them up. Mackenzie and I are finishing them up, but she's helping us with the initial stages of it. Gotcha. So we're doing part of it and then she's doing the other part of it. So Wonderful. But, and I'll say one of the nice things about the fish, doing the fish extenders is it gives you a reason to walk around parts of the ship that you might not normally think to walk on. Right, because you have to actually deliver your gifts. Yes. So that brings us to how do you deliver the gifts? How do you do it? How do you deliver 18 cabins worth of gifts? It's a lot of walking. It's a lot of walking. Which is great. It is. After I, all those meals and ice cream on the cruise. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you need to walk that off. Um. Well, I've have seen and online, you know, maps of the ship and here's, and someone I was reading the other day, she's like, well, if the second number of the ship is a zero two one or something, it's on this side. If it's a, this, it's on this side. If it's this, it's forward, it's aft. And I thought, um, I'll just read the signs when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't quite figure it out. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. But, um, we organize ours by deck, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, some people put theirs in, um, nice Disney bags that they get at the Dollar Tree okay. per cabin. And so they just take them and, um, sometimes when you get there, their fish extender may already be quite full. So sometimes that happens, especially if you deliver early in the week. Mm-hmm. Um, some people like to get the stuff out of their cabin right. and get it delivered. We tend to deliver ours on, um, a, a sea day. Yes. So some people... I think a lot of people do that or they deliver it like maybe in the morning before they go on a port adventure or something. Mm-hmm. So deliver whenever you want, unless your group specifically, some, some groups do say, Nope, you deliver the first day, the second day, the third day. Some groups are set up like that. Any group that we've done has always been deliver whenever you feel like it. 
Um, sometimes we deliver over multiple days. Like we'll do certain decks certain days. Right. Yeah. Um, I did notice for this upcoming cruise, we have like four or five cabins that like, like are seriously like right around us. Oh, wow. So yeah, like within four or five cabins of us going Easy. either way. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> so that'll work for us. So we'll just peek out and see if their are is full. If it's not, we'll just pop them in. There you go. So um, we just organize by deck and we'll go down to that deck and just deliver when we have some time. And mm-hmm. you and I, well, we thought this was going to be this the first or second time we did it, this big bonding family moment. We'll have this wonderful time. Oh, right. The four of us will walk around the ship and deliver these and look at the Effies and how different they are and how creative. Ship exploration. Yeah, that did not happen. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. I think the kids went to one or two and were like, can we go back to the kids club now? Right, right. That's what happened. <laughs> so you and I have always delivered the gifts. The kids have always enjoyed getting the gifts. Love getting. <laughs> but um, yeah, you and I have always been the deliverers of the gifts. Right. So, but that's okay. Awesome. Good thing we like to spend time together. Absolutely. So that's it. But um, any other tips or anything for a uh, the fish extenders on a Disney cruise? I don't think so. If you have any questions, email us. We'll be happy to just send it to uh, timidresortloop.com and uh, Don and I will get to it and we'll get we'll answer it for you. Yep. But there's a lot of information out there about them. There's a lot of um, great ideas for gifts. Um, you know, check it out. It's just it's a really fun thing, especially if you have kids. Um, another thing that I've also heard, like if it's just not something that you think that you can handle, um, maybe preparing, you know, gifts or maybe here's the other thing that happens is sometimes people have cruises that are coming up very quickly. Most groups close out a month, six weeks before the cruise, which gives people time to get their gifts together and Mm -hmm. get enough gifts together for their cabins. Um, and they're not always able to accept latecomers. And then, you know, you might be disappointed that maybe you feel your kids might miss out. Make a fish extender. Go get gifts for your kids and then sneak them into the fish extenders for your kids. Your kids will never know that it didn't come from perfect strangers. There you go. You know? And if you want your kids to experience the fun of giving to other people, make a few gifts at home or get a few little gifts out and um, do what's called pixie dusting, where you just pop little gifts into random fish extenders there um, you go. around the ship. Right. You don't have to know the people. You don't have to be in the people's groups. Um, they do kind of recommend that you put a little tag on there that says, you know, a little pixie dust from cabin, you know, whatever your cabin number is. Okay. So the people know that it is supposed to be there. It wasn't an accident. Right. And who knows? Sometimes they might pixie dust you right back. Oh, how so about that? You never know. Sometimes we, we sometimes have extra things or um, a couple times we've gone to um, put a gift in a cabin in, in an effie and the there's no effie hanging outside the cabin door so uh sometimes cabins get changed and they forget to tell people or maybe oh, right. they were unable to take the cruise and then forgot to you know take their name off the list right so in that case we just pixie dust and go about our day that's it yeah don't let it be something that causes you any anxiety no it's no it should that. just be fun just be fun absolutely we've always had super fun with it every time every time great well well, thank you so much for sharing this physics fish extender thing thank you it's a lot of fun we it is a lot of fun Mackenzie and i have a a lot of fun making stuff and you know like i said we make stuff we buy stuff do a combination of things and you know i know even when we're not cruising you'll be out somewhere go oh if we're going somewhere this would be a great fish extender i do (laughs) (laughs) yep that's when we book the cruise just to to give away gifts that's right that'd be awesome yeah we, oh. need, we need more cruises. Yeah, we, who doesn't? <laughs> and if you need a cruise, just contact us over at resortlooptravel.com. Thanks for joining us on the show, Don. Thank you. I'm Tim Scott. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, the website, resortloop.com. Uh, Bob, you can find him on all over the website, all over online. Just look him up on his social media. If he was here, he would say, See you, everybody. Vacation memories will stay with you and your family for a lifetime. The Resort Loop Travel Group was created with this in mind. Our fee-free services will relieve you of the stress and confusion of finding and booking the best vacation at the best price. 
After booking, we will continue to monitor for ways to save you even more on your vacation. We will check for any upcoming packages and discounts to save you as many vacation dollars as possible. Resort Loop Travel Group, gateway to your magical vacation memories. Get a quote or for more information, visit resortlooptravelgroup.com.